Hey everyone, this is Ben with Texoma Homes and today we're taking a look at this amazing 18 wide house behind me. This is the Solitaire ACK384 coming in at 1360 square foot. This is a huge house guys, so 18 foot wide, 80 foot long, three bedrooms, two baths. So we're gonna go along the outside, show you what we have to offer. We'll go on the inside, do a full home tour. So come on, follow me. Okay, so we're gonna start out up front on the house. As you can see with the 18 wide, it is gonna look slightly different than our normal single wide solitaires. First thing you'll notice is the size. This is 18 by 80, like I said earlier, but also you're gonna get this awesome accent dormer. So you're gonna get the peak roof on the front side of the house with the two beams. And this house is gonna be painted the uh, charcoal, which is gonna be the knight's armor. You're gonna have a beautiful black magic insert with your stepping stone beams trim along the windows. So a good look to this house. We're gonna start off here. As you can see, we got a storm door with a six panel door. Security light above. Got our low E thermal pane windows. So I've shown this to you guys before on solitaires right here. This is gonna be the vent hood exhaust. So you'll know that you're actually venting that out of the house, not just up above. Right here, we're gonna have your uh, drain for your water heater. It's gonna be your dryer vent, so we'll show you where the utility is on the inside of this house. It's kind of a unique spot. Then you're gonna have your fresh water connection for the house, as you can, and you can actually see it right there. Next to the fresh water connection, you're also gonna see an electrical plug. That's so you can plug in a uh, heat strip to keep your water lines safe during the winter months. Since we're down here, I did want to point something out about the Solitaire 18 wides. So we do have full length outriggers just like every other Solitaire that we have. But if you notice, the outriggers are actually spaced slightly different. So we're going to have our outriggers on the 18 wides are going to be set up every four foot on center instead of the uh, traditional eight foot on center. So just something to know, this house is a lot heavier. It's going to need more support. And they do know that, so they build it into the frame. Above, you can see we do have a six inch eave with plenty of venting in it, that's gonna give you the dead space in the attic to give you nice insulation above. And you can see that on both sides of the house. So we're gonna come around the back side here. Another thing I wanted to point out about the frame, typically on a manufactured house, you're gonna get um, some type of support in between the two I-beams. This is what's gonna hold them together and stabilize it during transit. If you notice here, this one's slightly different. I don't know if you can see, it does have a Z, it is a Z. So this is a Z channel. So instead of being a C channel, this one's in a Z. So the idea behind that is the more bends in the metal that are going different directions are gonna to give to rigidity. So with the C having a weak spot here, the Z is gonna be able to counteract both forward and back rocking motion or thrusting to help keep this house stable during transit. We're gonna squeeze by this side and I'll show you what we have on the back side. So again, six inch eaves. On the back side of the house, we are gonna have a steel door, cottage style windows. Also gonna have a uh, security light above and then right under here, about halfway under the house, will be your 200 amp electrical service. This is where the electrician will tie in your electrical into the house. As we move along, you're going to see there are a ton of windows on the back side of this house. So you're going to have plenty of natural light coming in. And you'll see that once we step into the home here shortly. In the back side, right about the middle of the house, you're going to have your drain outlet. So you can see it right out, right in the middle. That's where your plumber will hook up your uh, septic tank or your city sewage, depending on where you're putting the home. And finally, on the back side, or the front rather, tongue side, you're going to see we do have an electrical plug to protect it so it doesn't get water. Show you the front of the house. See, it does have a large eave on the front as well. Something unique about the solitaire homes, it does have a specialized hitch to be able to tow this home. 
So this house being as heavy as it is, Solitaire has their own custom hitches. Takes three people to lift this thing and maneuver it out from underneath the house. So big house requires big equipment. So they know what they're doing. Let's go take a look on the inside of the house. Okay, so right when you step in, you will notice how wide this house is. Yes, two extra feet doesn't seem like much, but it gives you a ton when you're looking at 14 and 16 foot wide homes. The house will come with all the draperies included. Huge living room, Oop, back into the wall. Huge living room. Ceiling fan does come standard with it. So like I told you outside, this is the bigger brother to the AC80. As you know, we have a hidden utility room there. The main difference is gonna be the pantry and I'll get into that here in just a second. Beautiful all real wood cabinetry. You can have your tile accents all along the uh, back of the uh, textured wall. Something to note again about these solitaire homes, this is a fully tape and textured house, half inch sheetrock, textured and painted. You also know the, uh, notice the crown molding above, and then you're gonna have your base trim below. This flooring is all hand laid vinyl tile flooring. Super durable, but if you did need to replace a piece, it could be individually replaced. The appliances do come with the home, so we have Frigidaire, Dishwasher, range stove, vent hood, and your refrigerator. Refrigerator. Stainless steel sink, plenty of cabinets above. Something to note again, like I said, all real wood. Look at how this uh, cabinet is constructed. So wooden shelf, no paper wrapped styles here. How many plugs that you have right here? Plenty. Talking about the uh, wood construction on the cabinet, let's go ahead and open up the drawers. Show you what these look like. Hand built. So you're getting quality. You're getting quality here, guys. All right, I know you see it. We're dying to see it. It's gonna be the hidden utility room here. So we're gonna pop right through here. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying the home tour on this ACK384, please make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe so that we can show you more home tours. We got 18 wides coming, solitaire double wide, so stuff that you're gonna enjoy watching. Also, if you have a comment, please make sure you comment below. So let's go ahead and finish this home tour so I can show you what's behind this bad boy right here. So once we open this, you can see we have a entryway into the utility room. Pretty good size as well. So we're getting all that. So. We obviously we have a spot for a washer and dryer. All your water connections and whole house water shutoff, whole house ventilation, overhead uh, cabinets above, and there's your ventilation fan there. We're gonna look over here to the right real fast. So we have your 200 amp electrical panel and your furnace. This is where you'll be able to uh, replace your air filter. Also in here, you're gonna have your water heater access panel. So kind of all in one hidden utility area. One thing I do really like about this model is that it does have a window in here. So being kind of tucked away, you have tons of natural light. And just so you guys know, that right there is just an access panel for water. If you ever needed to get in there, we'd be able to uh, pull that panel off and be able to get to any problem behind that. All right, let's go down here. So this is gonna be your designated dining area with the chandelier above. Rear entrance with the uh, cottage door windows like I said earlier. Right over here to the right of the, the uh, fridge, you have a perfect spot for a little coffee bar. Coffee bar set up and then here is your uh, pantry. So you get a nice little pantry door. Let's go and open this up and see. Built in. Wood shelving, so no wire rack shelving, nothing like that. All right. 
we're gonna head into the master bedroom. <laughs> As you can see, this thing is huge. Fan already installed in the master bedroom. Look how big this room is, y'all. Crown molding trim following throughout the whole house. Take a look at this walk-in closet. Now, you do have a little spot here behind the door. We'll let you all decide about who gets what. Ongoing closet battle. Soaking tub, you got a nice one piece fiberglass shower. And there's plenty of light in here, y'all, with this big window on the back side. Dual vanity sinks, mirrors, all porcelain sinks, by the way. And right behind me, you're going to have the toilet there. So, as we can see, super nice bathroom. While we're walking over to the guest side, I just wanted to mention um, three things that are different about an 18 wide solitaire than a 16 wide. So I did mention one thing earlier. Your um, outriggers are every four foot on center instead of every eight foot on center. You're gonna get the peak dormer up front, like I showed you as well. We'll go over the last thing here in just a second. In your guest area, you can see we have a uh, Linen storage to the right of the bathroom. We're gonna go right here into the guest bedroom first. The last thing I wanted to tell you about the 18 wire that's different is gonna be your floor joists. So typically you're gonna have a two by six floor joist on a 16 wide solitaire home. Once we go to the 18 wide, you're going to a two by eight. So as you can see, the main upgrade difference is gonna be all framing, all interior structure. Stuff you're not necessarily going to see. So sizable uh, guest closets as well. I got some uh, ship loose parts in there, y'all. Don't don't mind that. This floor plan does have the largest bedrooms out of any of the solitaire um, three bedroom homes. All right, so this is your guest bathroom. So one piece fiberglass tub shower combo. Porcelain sinks as well, nice big mirror. One thing you'll notice about this floor plan is tons of natural light in all the bedrooms, huge windows. Not so much in this room, but you get what I'm saying, natural light coming in. All right, there we have it. That's the ACK384. So this is an amazing 18 wide that's gonna pack a huge punch with the huge square footage and the quality that they're putting in this house. So if you wanna see another 18 wide solitaire, go ahead and click right here. This is gonna be the HD384, so another 18 wide that's amazing. If you wanna see the little brother of this house, that's gonna be the AC80. So go ahead and click on that one right here. That's gonna be a 16 by 76 version of this house. So hey y'all, we'll see you in the next one.